Hey, this is Seb, and I thought that today we're going to take a look at the Thunder T1 replay system. This system is what I use to make my screenshots and thumbnails, as well as the cinematic openings I use in my videos about Thunder T1. So sit back and relax, and let me show you how to use this to create some epic cinematic shots. The Thunder Tier 1 replay system can be activated in the options menu, and here you can also decide how many replays you want to be stored. It goes from 20 replays all the way up to 100. When this is activated, your games will be stored in this replay menu. If you think you had a particular good round, you can opt to save it permanently. From this menu, we can choose to view the replay, save the replay, or just delete it. So let's go ahead and view one of the latest games that I have. Alright, so now we are inside the replay system. First off, let's just go over the controls. They are listed in the UI, if you're in doubt. To start off, you click and hold either left or right mouse button to look freely around. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel and reset it with the middle mouse button. You can change between vision modes with N and you move with WASD plus Q and E to move up and down. To hide the UI, just press escape. It's pretty basic, it's pretty intuitive. Here you can see the timeline of the mission. In this timeline, you can just use your mouse to jump between different times. It's very useful when creating video, as you get as many takes as you want. The timeline below is the play rate. This is basically the speed of the replay. So the default value is one, which is normal speed. Then anything lower will be slowing things down and anything above is speeding things up. You can go all the way down to a standstill, which is good for photos, all the way up to four times speed. Beneath this, you have exit, pause, restart, reset play rate, VCR effect, and the camera smoothing sliders. If you want more smooth camera shots, I recommend enabling camera smoothing and then turn the sliders down to more than half the, of its original value. Depending on how many players was in the game, you can select them to the right of the timeline. This enables the camera to follow the player around. And this is pretty useful if you want to only focus on one particular player. All of the functions are easy enough to use. What I will say is that I hope they add more effects and functions in the future, like controller support for the camera. Regardless, if you're doing a screenshot or video, try to keep in mind that composition, lighting and context all matters when you want to create good content. One example that I see some creators are finally picking up is that you can mix the top-down gameplay recordings with the replays in order to further immerse the viewer into what's going on. Having this ability makes Thunder T1 one of the few games that can showcase itself in more creative ways. And with more mods, like hopefully a third person camera mod, it will make TTO even greater. Now have fun using the replay function, I can't wait to see more fantastic screenshots and cinematic videos. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you want more Thunder Tier 1. That's all from me, stay safe.